Hi, I'm John Molesky. Welcome to the Woodrow Wilson International Center for Scholars. I'm the host of Dialogue. We're joining you from the set of Dialogue, where I just concluded a discussion on changing law in the 21st century and what are the traditions that need to be maintained and what are the emerging challenges. And I'm going to introduce you to both of our guests. We'll start with Carolyn Lamb, who's the president of the American Bar Association. And Carolyn, let's look at the, the dark side of these changes. What are the areas that give you the most concern? Well, the, the real issues for lawyers are, you know, in their collaborative work over the Internet, of course, uh, ethical issues about confidentiality, conflicts, uh, what is adversity, how do you provide reliable advice, how do you know that your clients are receiving reliable advice that they may receive from overseas by lawyers who not, are not admitted to U.S. practice. It's really the protection of the public uh, where there is an issue. Also joining us uh, is the United States Deputy Chief Technology Officer, Beth Simone Novak, and she's also involved in the White House Open Government Project. And Beth, we're going to give you the easier part. I, I, I cast Carolyn as the dark side, and now you're going to tell us what are the positive things looking forward. And thanks for doing the heavy lifting on me. <laughs> I'm very happy to be <laughs> the, the scary stuff. Very happy to be the good cop <laughs> and the, uh, the optimistic prognosis. And the happy thing is that in a world of network technology where people can communicate and more importantly collaborate with one another, in new ways that they've never been able to do before, that we have the prospect for connecting people to government, participating in our government and participating in the life of our democracy, using the social networks that are available to us to talk with one another, to solve problems together, to come up with new ideas and innovations to help address the challenges that we face today. So it's when we have many people looking at a problem that we can come up with better solutions faster and more cheaply than we've ever been able to do before. And so, Carolyn, I'm sorry Beth, excuse me, I didn't mean to step on your so that's the So that's the good cop scenario is the optimistic prognosis is that we have really a way to um, you know, b bring new solutions to the way that we work. We'll let you share some good news too, Carolyn. Tell us about Law Day. Oh, Law Day is fabulous. Started in 1958 and we've done it ever since. President Eisenhower signed the first proclamation and we celebrate the rule of law. We, we celebrate law in the United States, in classrooms, with teachers, with the profession and with the public. Great, thanks. Uh, if you'd like to hear more from our guests, visit us on the web at www.wilsoncenter.org. If you look on the right-hand side of the screen at the top, you'll see a tab for Dialogue. Click on that, you can find the entire 30-minute program. Additionally, if you go to our on-demand website later today, we're going to be recording a 90-minute discussion on the same Law Day theme with a larger panel, and Beth will be back to be part of that. So if you're really interested in this issue, we have lots of good content for you. Thanks.